Hi, I'm Laura Brody, and I turn wheelchairs, walkers, and mobility scooters into sculptures. More recently, I've been working on what I call the Goddess series. It started out with her, the Kali Walker. This is my interpretation of the Goddess Kali, built into a walker. The next piece in my process for the Goddess series was Medusa, or my interpretation of her. This one is built into a vintage wheelchair, which is probably Korean War era. The newest one that I'm going to be making is based on the fairy Melusine. According to legend, the fairy Melusine met a human man who had accidentally killed a king and was in a panic. She told him that all would be well if they married and she would build him a great kingdom. He only had to leave her alone on Saturdays. They married, had a wonderful kingdom and a good life, but the man could not leave things well enough alone and he spied on her one Saturday. He saw her in a bath with serpent or fish tails and didn't say anything about it until much later and then complained he had married a terrible monster. At that point, she returned to her true form, sprouted wings, and flew away, leaving him to die in obscurity. So all of my work is based on reused materials. Melusine's spine here is all wired together shampoo containers, supplement containers, and other plastics shoved full of plastic waste and supported with scrap carbon fiber and pieces of wood and other pieces of wire. Her legs slash fins slash tails are all based on tomato cages that got covered in coffee canisters and old coconut milk containers, then stuffed full of scrap fabrics and scrap plastics of whatever kind, then skinned with fabric left over from making cultist robes for the H.P. Lovecraft Historical Society. All of my fabrics have a backstory. So this fabulously silly prom dress is the backing, or will be the backing, for all of my scales for Melusine. I got it first because it was covered in rhinestones, which I ripped all off and stole and used for an outfit for Earl Pottymouth Arbuckle. I found this fun metallic sheer stripe at a thrift store, probably originally a drape. I really like the way it looks over the turquoise. It's kind of a nice shimmer. That sort of weird variegation that happens here, where it shrinks up in some places and not in others, it might just be that this is purely plastic. This fabric came from a friend of mine's D stash who's cleaning out all of her old costume stuff. She's a great costume maker and designer, and she's also a fabulous burlesque performer. It goes by the name of Venus DeMille. This fabric came from another thrift store run with Susan Ruth. If you ever get a chance, check out her Hey Human podcast. It's really lovely. I love it. It's got little tiny bubbles in it. I think it was once a shower curtain.